guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually attempting to film a video the same day as I received a palette. So I'm really excited. I'm sure you already know what we are going to be playing with today. This is the Pat McGrath Blitz Astro Quad in Nocturnal Nirvana. This is brand brand new from Pat McGrath Labs. She just came out with her Mothership 6 palette. I played with it. I think last week sometime. I'll remember to link the video up in the cards for you guys to check out. But um, somebody actually sent me a picture saying these were coming out for holiday. I didn't know how soon it was going to be but here is the palette. And it's in that same packaging as the bigger palettes, the $125 palettes. But in a smaller size. So. People were really excited because these contain her special shades, which you have to typically only get in the large palettes. Her last Mothership didn't really have any of the cool dual chrome shades that I love, but they're in here, so that's exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this really quick. Now a lot of people were very baffled by the price point, which is totally understandable. Obviously, this isn't for everyone. And here are the four shades. I'll pop the names on the screen for you guys in case you're curious about the names. These are gorgeous. Wow. This green one honestly is really cat catching my attention. Wow. It definitely has like a purple shift to it. So I don't know if you guys can kind of see it when I turn my hand like that. Do you see it there? Okay. Maybe, I don't know. Super stunning. So I want to play with this palette and create an eye look. So let's get into it. Okay, so just to get the party started, I'm gonna throw in like a crease shade from the new Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I haven't made a video on this guy yet, but I do love it, spoiler alert. I've been playing with it off camera a bunch. And honestly, this is like my recommendation for holiday. This is like the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette of whatever year that palette came out. So if you're on the hunt for an awesome, like colorful but neutral filled palette, you're going to want to get your hands on this. I think they said this is limited edition, but I have heard Natasha Denona does have the tendency to say something is limited edition and then if it does well she does end up kind of making it permanent so definitely definitely keep an eye out for that so I just use that shade and then I'm just gonna deepen up the crease and I'm just using a big fat blending brush to do that just to kind of give it some lid colors now I did see Mel and I think um, kinky sweat I can't remember her name is it Alicia from Kinky Sweat. They both blended the shimmers into their crease. I don't know that I have that level of confidence in myself, so I'm just gonna, you know, wing it like the basic V that I am. And I don't even, oh, what shade? I think I'm just gonna go in with the cream and see what happens. So Mel used them dry Usually I set these down with a glitter glue for like reduce fallout and stuff like that. But there is that green shade. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So that's it dry. And I'm gonna wet my brush with some Fix Plus and pick up the product. Oh my gosh, I can see the duochrome. I don't know if you guys will see it on camera. This is definitely like a lighter green than most greens in Pat McGrath's palette, so that's kind of exciting. Just brushing off the fallout. There's quite a bit of fallout. See, I like to use a glitter glue. I should have just 
stuck to what I know, which is using a glitter glue, but since the other ladies didn't, I wanted to see if it'll hold up. And now I'm just sticking the gold shade in the inner corner. I'm gonna grab the Wayne Goss number 20 and go into the blue and just place that on the lower lash line. Yeah, I would totally recommend using these with glitter glues. I wouldn't go in without one. I just thought that wetting the brush would keep it in one spot, but it's moving around too much, so I wouldn't recommend. And then on this side, kind of want to see if we can do blue on the lid it's like a beautiful mermaid almost kind of color and then I want to add the purple on the outer corner Grab that blending brush I used for the brown, just to mesh that in there. And now I'm going to go back into the blue, just to brighten that up a little bit. There's another eye look. And then I'm just going to use the Wayne Goss number 20. Go into the gold shade and place that on the lower lash line, like so. And there's the two eye looks I wanted to just try it out and see. I definitely think the standout shade is that green. The blue is okay. The green is stunning. I almost wish that was just a single shadow so I could play with it more. I'm gonna do my mascara and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the final look. Definitely the most standout shade for me is this green one. I kind of wish it was almost a single because I don't feel like the other shades in this palette are contributing enough to justify the price point. And I'm trying to be as impartial as I can be. I am a huge Pat McGrath fan, but I also like having money and I don't like to spend it on makeup just for the sake of having makeup or just for the sake of having every you know item in her line so for example I did buy all of these palettes from last holiday and these are wonderful palettes and they were actually um more affordable than the little quad that came out this year but they didn't have that special dual chrome shimmer shades but there are some beautiful shades in here and i mean there's some beautiful dual chromes as well like this red shade everyone was losing it over because it has like a bronze gold yellow like it's a multi-chrome has a beautiful flip to it so you can't really like say oh it makes sense why this price point is higher in the quad because each of these palettes has a really beautiful little special color in this palette I think it was this purple shade and you know there wasn't a lot of purples at the time of this palette launching you know what I mean they were kind of innovative at the time this one was the all shimmer and her shimmers are so buttery and beautiful and just so pigmented and foiled so those have such beautiful shades in them as well I guess what I'm trying to say is even though people say oh the quad is $65 because it has those special shades like these two shades I don't know that I can you know consciously tell you guys like oh it's worth it spend that 65 so here is um, the fourth mothership the full size compared to the quad and I'm just showing these to you side by side I don't really think there's any similar shades I know Mel did a very in-depth 
swatching of each shade that you know matched up to one of the existing palettes like this green does not look like that green this one is a much darker green whereas this one's more of a lighter green with a huge purple shift this one has a darker like black and purple so i don't think there's any similar shades in my pat mcgrath collection but i think by pulling out the bigger palettes what i'm trying to say is if you want to try pat mcgrath honestly the big palettes are the way to go i know a lot of people are saying this is a great way to try the special shades but i honestly think like if you can get them on a sale just get one with your favorite color story on a sale and it'll be worth way more than you owning two of these quads in my opinion so i hope that kind of helps you guys out this one is one of my favorites and i know when i did the mothership six video you guys had agreed with me that i should rank all my pat mcgrath palettes and i was gonna do that but then she came out with a quad so i was like okay let me wait let me get my quad and then i will do the ranking video but just after trying this once i don't think that this had me achieve anything i couldn't achieve with one of my 10 pan palettes so that's kind of what i'm battling with in my head i think that maybe if i didn't have all of these big palettes i would feel differently here's the two yellow so this is midnight sun and this is from the quad so if i didn't have all these palettes and maybe it was my first opportunity to try pat mcgrath maybe then i could justify telling you guys hey these are amazing 65 dollars i've never felt anything like this before but as you guys can see i have like a little trust fund here like <laughs> i mean this is almost a grand of eyeshadow between the palettes i currently own so because of all those reasons, I feel like this is an okay palette, but I can't give it like a, you know, 10 out of 10. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. Like, I'm glad I have it. I wouldn't buy it again if I could. And I'm glad I didn't buy both because that's the kind of person I am. I get really excited and then the completionist in me is like, oh, buy both. And I'm so glad I didn't do that. I just picked one color scheme that I like. So. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. I know you guys love telling me what you think and I love hearing what you guys think. So leave all of that good stuff down there. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one soon. Bye!